Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. We're getting ready to do my new skincare and makeup. So y'all don't send a bunch of questions right now until I'm finished my makeup, because I'm probably not gonna read them. Hi. So we're doing some makeup today. Um, this is what I look like with no makeup on my face. <laughs> How are y'all doing? So Crave Beauty sent me a little box of skincare. And so I'm getting ready to try some of it with you guys. Um, I'm not going to be able to try the cleansers because I've already washed my face before I got this this morning. But they have the Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser and the Makeup Rewind, which is an oil cleanser. Probably easy to take off your makeup. So all these are, everything that I mentioned, mostly everything that I mentioned is going to be linked in the description bar and in the top comment on the lies uh, comments. So first let's moisturize. We're going to be trying this Oat So Simple Water Cream. And they also sent me the Great Barrier Relief. And this is a soothing serum, reparative for your skin. So let's try this first. Okay. It smells like um, kelp, almost. Like some something from the ocean. I'm going to be trying this on. It's a creamy serum, so y'all know. And this is by Crave Beauty, and it's called Great Barrier Relief. All the things I'm mentioning are going to be linked in that... Um, link at the top of the comments and I'll link it again here. It's on a lot of this stuff is going to be found on Amazon too, unless you just go to the website. Okay. So I got my serum. Eh. I smell like kelp. <laughs> I'm feeling like a mermaid now because I smell like kelp. Okay. The next thing I'm going to put on, this is very moisturizing by the way. Um, so I feel very moisturized already. I don't even think I need this. This is the Oat So Simple Water Cream. It comes with a little scoop, so you don't have to use your finger. But I'm just going to take some of off the top and put on my face. Let's get moisturized, everyone. Are y'all already made up and looking good today? All right. This smells like oat and honey. I like to tell y'all what it smells like because some people are sensitive to smell. So I like to get my neck too. Oat and honey. And this is a very light, watery, hydrating cream. All of these skincare items are by Crave Beauty. Okay. Ooh, I feel so moisturized. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. Let me get y'all an up-close look. Yeah, my eyebrows is like looking sparse, but you know. They also have a sunscreen, Beat the Sun. I don't really need this. I don't use a lot of sunscreen because my makeup is literally the sunblock. But if you like sunscreen, it is lightweight sunscreen, broad spectrum, 40. It has beetroot in it, hydraulic acid, and vitamin E. And this is by Crave Beauty. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can use this all over. Um, so. For those who like sunscreen, sprinkle, sprinkle. I'll probably use it more in the summertime when I'm out. But I don't like uh, layering too many skin products because so, I have one more to go. Now, actually, I don't, actually, I don't have one more to go. That was that would have been it. So um, I really like this because I can feel like a, a layer, like a protective layer. I don't know. And after I do my skincare, I like to use this misting apparatus. There's a little rose water in here just to set the moisturizer in. There. Now your face is like super moisturized. Okay. Now I'll start with just nothing on my face. First thing I try to put on is concealer. Where my concealer go? Okay. So today I'm going to be using Fenty. 
in the color 17. So you get this little under eye. I'm using the camera. I'm, I'm using the screen as my, and let's go like this, this, and this. I'm using the screen as my mirror, so I might have to get a mirror in a second. So. And I just blend it in, get the top eyelid, blend, blend, in. This has been pre-moistened, so it's kind of wet to spread. And then I just do that. The mist, you can get this mister on Amazon. It's linked as well. Just click the all the products in this video link. And you just put water or whatever you want to put in there. I put rose water in mine. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I, I might answer any questions until I'm done with my makeup because I'm not going to be able to concentrate. Um... Are you asking me what you what you should get when you go shopping? Whatever you want, ma'am. Whatever he can afford. <laughs> All right. So I blended that concealer in. Now, usually I do a foundation, like the Fenty foundation, but they have this new stick and it's like supposed to be real natural and it's it's really light. So that's what I'm going to be using today. And I just do a couple of wipes. This is in the color 17. I'm sorry. Yeah, this is the color 17. And the concealer is 360W. And I have all the all of them linked. So now I'll just blend in all of this. And that's pretty much it. Make sure I got it all blended in my mirror right here. <laughs> okay. I think that's good enough, right? So that's all I'm using on my face. And you want a little contour. We're going to be using the Fenty Matchstick and Truffle. You just outline where you want the contour. Let me look in the mirror because I might do this wrong. All right, so this is my contour, y'all. I'm gonna use a beauty blender to blend this too. Ta da! Concealer done. Next, make sure it's all blended. If you like a heavier, not concealer, contour. If you like a heavier contour, go over it with powder later. So now I'm going in with eyebrow. Okay, so I gotta do my eyebrows. I don't have no eyebrows. When I wear a blonde wig, I have to do a lighter eyebrow. Usually I wear Level Up Cosmetics dark brown. But since I'm doing a lighter wig, I have to have a lighter brown. So I'm using e.l.f. today. Um, but usually I use my own Level Up Cosmetics eyebrow pencil. But today we're using Waterproof e.l.f. in taupe. Okay. So I just brush out my brow. Oh, got to take the top out. Brush out my brow. Ooh, my wig. Okay. And then I'm going to apply I have a magnified mirror right here. So y'all got to get my nails done. I'm going tomorrow to have these Pink Friday nails put on that, they, that I got sent. So bear with me all. Uh, oh, I forgot to blend right there. It's a little Okay, so I just go and just enhance my brow with the brow pencil. Draw a little tail like that and then get up in the... You know, who's doing their makeup now? I know sometimes when I get ready to do my makeup, I'm watching other people on YouTube or listening to music on YouTube. 
or sometimes I do like a audiobook or something, some type of teaching video. Are you doing your makeup too, girl? Yes. Hey, Brie, I see you. Okay. Now I'm just, hold on, let me get this little tail on. At the top and the front. Sometimes I mess up and have to like sculpt it a little bit better, but most of the time I just try to hurry up and get it done. You know, I forgot my signature. I might have to go get it. Or maybe we can do this video without it. We'll see. Forgot my eyeliner. It's in the bathroom. Okay, so now I just kind of clean it up a little bit. Try to keep them kind of natural when I do the blonde. Because when I wear my dark hair or my own hair, I gotta do them darker. Okay, so good enough. I can fix the rest later if needed. I don't have microbladed because I'm allergic to hair dye. Okay. And that's what's in that stuff. I can't get lashes done. I'm allergic to all that stuff. So. This is why I have to draw them in. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. Now. Oh, shoot. Drop the top. Okay. Next, I like to do a cream blush. So we're going in with Fenty Strawberry Pop. And it's like, um, I guess it is just a cream blush. So, and you can also use it as a lip or eyeshadow. I like to do that. I like to use it as whatever I need to use it for. And this is good if you're like trying to get out of the door quick. Cream blushes are good for that. And I'll do a little here, a little there. Get a little life to your face. If you like more blush, do it again. <laughs> and just with a beauty sponge, pat, 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 pat. It's like a moist, so that's what I do. All right. Now, if you're just in a hurry, you throw some mascara on and you, you might be good to go or lipstick or whatever, but we're not there yet. I'm going to be using the Fenty Too Too Much Highlighter. Ooh, look at that. Um, better find all my brushes. Hold on. Here we go. I can wash with a bunch. Get it all in, yes. Go crazy. There we go. And what else do I need? I need some eyeshadow. Okay, so I bought this on Amazon by Flower Nose. It's, a, it's the Moonlight Mermaid eyeshadow palette. It's really pretty. Looks like this. Ooh, sparkles. And there's a little mermaid on it. And these are the colors. All right. So I'm going to just go in with a natural, like I'm wearing white today, so I don't really want too, too much color. I'm going to go in with one of these pinks right here. I'm going to use a mirror. And just go over the whole lid. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm going in with the lightest pink on there. If I was wearing more color, I'd probably do more color. 
All right. I like this green in here. I've worn that green and the glitter one many times already. You'll probably see me. No, let me fix. All right. Yeah. That's that's that. And I like to use like if I want some glitter, I like to use this Fenty diamond. You know, how many carrots? Diamond bomb. Okay. And I just go over my lid with the diamond bomb to give my eyes a little glitter and glam. Still very natural, but glam. Okay. Fenty. Um, okay, so now that I have on makeup, I haven't put any powder like on my face except the um, shadow. I like to go back in and do this. This is rose water, by the way. All right. You can put any type of water you want in there. So while my lips, while I'm getting ready to do my makeup, I'm going to use this Lawless Forget the Filler Lip Balm. It's like a plumping balm. So your lips can plump while you're, you know, doing your makeup. It's very moisturizing. I think this one is in Cherry Vanilla. All right. Lawless sent that to me. Thank you, Lawless. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. Next. Okay. Since I'm wearing white and a blonde wig today, I'm going to do a brown eyeliner. You could just use any brown eyeliner. Um, I've sharpened this one so much. I don't know where it came from. Probably Ulta. So <laughs> let me just tight line first. That's when you get like all the inside of your eyelid on your lash line. See the difference? All right. Going for the other one. I usually use a black when I have my own hair or darker hair. And then a liquid liner. But since I'm looking lighter with lighter colors today, I'm just using the brown. I'm going on top next to the lit lash line. Just like that. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Do the other one. Uh-huh. Make sure they match. <laughs> All right. Ta-ta. Next. Mascara. I'm doing using Too Faced better than sex. I'm just going on with a light coat. I'm going to do lashes, so I'm not going to put that much. Get that lower lash line. Mm -hmm. All right. Put some in the face. Okay. I'm going to be using my lashes, which you can get on levelupcosmetics.us. Links in the description. Actually, before I do my lashes, let me put some powder on to set. I'm going to be using my powder Level Up Cosmetics and Desert Entanglement as the color. I hope. Let's see if this color matches still because it depends on what time of year it is, if it matches or not. Yeah, it's pretty good. I kind of smeared my... Mascara, hold on. Now it just looks like a wing. <laughs> All right. So I'm using my loose powder. Okay. I don't like to put too, too much powder. Unless it's like 
I'm looking for a matte look, but this is enough. All right, now for the lashes. Do I need more contour? Do y'all want to see more contour? Is this good? I have my Level Up Cosmetics contour that I like to use. This is available. This is in the number eight. And I also have a darker one that I also use. Let me find a brush. One more brush. Hold on, y'all. Sorry. Okay, I got it. And it's, it also comes with like a powder puff in the bottom if you want to use it as a powder, like a pressed powder, but, or a bronzer. And I just go under that jawline a little bit. You can get up on the forehead if you want. <laughs> okay. You know, I just take a big fluffy brush, kind of just blend it out. All right. Mm. I'll use the darker color if I want a more pronounced contour, maybe for evening. So this is what it's looking like so far. Now let's do some lashes. Let's see. Okay. My lash glue. Here it is. All right. I need my mirror. Hold on. I just place it right above my lash and push it in. Ta -da. Make sure it's stuck on. Thank you, God, is why we're ready for the super sticker. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay, so. There's a lash, here's no lash. You can get these lashes at levelupcosmetics.us. And they come in this little pink tin that you can reuse or just keep your lashes in there for storage. Okay. Now let me put the other lash on. Thank y'all. I'm getting all these compliments this morning, making me feel good. Ooh. Let's see. Oh no, it's stuck to my finger. I'm gonna use the other hand. <laughs> Oopsie. There we go. Keeps getting stuck to my finger. Here we go. Get it on there, right? Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Now just adjust it to how you want it to look on your face. Okay, good enough for me. Mm -hmm. Some people like to line over it. I usually do with my liquid liner, but I lost, I left it in the other bathroom. Oh wait, no, I have another one. I think, no, it's, it's a black liner. It's like a crayon. Anyway, good enough. So, lipstick time. Mm, which lipstick I should wear. Uh, okay, so Lawless sent me a bunch of lipsticks and lip glosses and lip liners. So thank you, Miss um, Annie Lawless. So 
this one is forget the filler define liner and cinnamon i'm just gonna do a little line then i'm gonna go in with some lipstick so this is like a cinnamon color you can even use this on your whole lip if you want to but since we're doing a light color natural look today Going in with this one, I'm gonna line her. Okay. Thank y'all. Then I'm going in with Cookie by Lawless. Cookie. It's this really pretty color. It's like a nudish brown. And I'm just gonna, and it also plumps your lips and fills in the little lines. So cookie. They also have lip plumping glosses by Lawless. And this is in the color Juicy Watermelon, which I really like, but it's not going to match this look today. So um, I'm going to use one of my Level Up Cosmetics glosses in the color Fantasy to go over this. So fantasy looks like this. It's glittery. It's really pretty for spring and summer. See we all see it. I like putting this over like coral lipsticks or just wearing it alone. It just really makes you look like glowy and stuff. That's fantasy. I also have different colors in this type of gloss for Level Up Cosmetics. Dot US. Link is in the description bar. But if you don't, you know, if you don't like orangey glosses, just do a clear over whatever. Now, I think I'm done. That's it, y'all. Get my setting spray. Let it dry. If you want to go back in with another powder after the setting spray, if your face gets a little oily or blot blotting papers, that's what I do during the time. Just blot with some blotting powder or blotting paper. And then this is my look. Um, where's my makeup? Hmm. Had a towel. Hold on. Here it is. I like to clean my hands and wash my hands after because I don't want to get makeup on my clothes. And here I am. I'll take these bobby pins out. Should I leave the headband on? <laughs> Just kind of put it on to hold the hair back. If you want to bring the wig down, definitely can do that. I, I kind of liked the headband, giving more of a youthful, youthfulness. All right. Pull that wig down a little bit. <laughs> Maybe put that bobby pin back in. <laughs> Since it's not glued, I don't like to glue all my wigs. I'm going to take them right off at night. I just don't like messing with the glue too much. All right. Bobby pins. And I try to just please them out. There we go. Can't tell. Shh, don't be funny. All right. Now, if I was going to do my signature wing, I would have just gone in with some 
liner, liquid liner. But I think that's a little too harsh for this particular look that I'm going for today. So maybe on, next time I'll do my wing, my signature wing when I'm wearing more color and darker hair for y'all. Get this to yellow. Okay. Yeah. Now we can talk and y'all can ask me about the products or whatever questions y'all want to ask. Okay. To make sure my eye eyelashes look normal. And that's, you know, well upside it. So if y'all want most of these products that I used um, that aren't Level Up Cosmetics, check out this Amazon link where I list all my favorite beauty products and the ones that I, mostly the ones that I used in here. And then check out levelupcosmetics.us for my Level Up products, that, um, my makeup line. Also, it's linked in the description bar, both links. All right. Yay, that was fun. All right. How to make sure makeup don't get on clothes. Wear clothes that makeup can't get to. But see how far my face is from my clothes? If you're wearing up like tight collars, you need to find a foundation that is, um, you know, transfer proof. And, or you need a really good um, setting spray. In the old days, before they had setting sprays, they used hairspray. I, I don't know if I recommend it, but it kind of locks in your makeup. But they have some really good setting sprays you can go find. This one is just from the Dollar Tree. I'm mean, not the Dollar Tree. The, the beauty supply store it's called Clean Color Pro. And it works pretty good. So, I'm done with my look. How are y'all? I have another color that's similar to that um, fantasy, but it's called Bag. It's a more of a coppery color. Oops, like get the bag. And for you ladies that like red, Level Up Cosmetics has an, a reddish, really bright red color for summer and spring. And um, definitely get that. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Thank you. Where's my necklace from? Um, I don't know where I bought it from. Probably Amazon. <laughs> okay. The headband, girl, probably um, either I bought it in a beauty supply shop or Amazon. I, I buy a lot of stuff on Amazon because I'm too lazy to go shopping. And I'll just be filling up stuff in my cart. So it's either from Shein or Amazon. I don't remember. <laughs> Just try Amazon. They have them. Definitely. Okay. You said you wear a bib when applying makeup. Oh, yeah. I, sometimes I put a towel over me or I'll wear a robe on, over my clothes. So I don't get makeup on it. You said poor ears. It doesn't hurt that bad. <laughs> Actually, if I pull it out like this and take out the, the little thing, it's not that bad. There we go. I'm trying to hide my real hair up under there. That's not that bad. I kind of like it like this now. Now that you mention it. Okay. What am I doing for weight loss? I'm on the skinny person diet. It's where you eat once a day or or you only eat a snack and then eat once a day. A skinny person told me their secret. I asked a skinny person, how do you stay so skinny? And they said, we only eat once a day. And so I, that's what I'm doing. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> it's working though. Oh, Rakita. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thanks for all of that you have taught me what to do if you have a following on social media and can be locked, looked up by first name. Um, own it. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Um, 
isn't that a good thing? Aren't you trying to advertise your company? If not, then change it. Or, you know, that's what they make. Like a lot of social medias make you put your real name on there, especially if you want verification. So you just own what you do. I own what I do. Okay. Somebody said the girl is bulimic. She's not bulimic. She's just not hungry. <laughs> she only eats once a day because she just get hungry until later. So I don't know. But she be eating. <laughs> it's, it's working. I mean, I can eat whatever I want once a day. And then, um, yeah, it works. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Someone says use a fake name. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Y'all, there's going to be trolls in here because they don't like me because I look better than them. <laughs> Even when I wake up in the morning with no makeup on. So you could go and listen to them if you like. They don't get paid for that. Um, they just really have a strong animosity and dislike towards me for just for being me. <laughs> and it's okay because I understand. Uh oh, Daniela. Daniela, I think that's how you say it. Okay, this man has been staying with you every weekend and asked you to start contributing to rent. And he said, and you, what? Okay, and you told him no. Should I put him out? Girl, honestly, if, if that man is over your house a lot, he need to be paying the whole rent. Sprinkle, sprinkle. If that man is over there all the time, he need to be paying all the rent. <laughs> Especially if you're sleeping with him. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You just got my book, Sprinkle, Sprinkle, Lindsay. Thank you, girl. I appreciate it. Thank you, Anastasia Goddess. How to enchant a man during a shopping date. Hold his hand and give him a kiss on the cheek whenever he buys you something really nice. <laughs> and call him honey, baby, whatever. Y'all, uh, people are so crazy. I don't know why. I, I guess because I guess my YouTube channel or like a bunch of people are sharing stuff on TikTok. People are so crazy. They make up all these fake lies and rumors. Someone actually told me congratulations on my pregnancy. And I don't, I'm not pregnant. I'm too old to be pregnant. But I told them I was registered at Tiffany's. So, and they can send me some gifts. I'm gonna make money off of I'm gonna make money off the lies and the rumors, ma'am. Don't ever don't ever think I won't. I'm gonna make me a fake registry. Y'all gonna start lies, I'm gonna end them at Tiffany's. <laughs> You'll be like, what did you get your baby? A new necklace. I got him some earrings. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh yes. But it's it's it goes to show you how people take stuff and run with it because they think it's going to get like views and things like that. And they take everything out of the context of my videos. I could be literally doing an act or a skit or talking to one of you guys or answering one of you guys' questions or or saying if it was me, if I was such and such, I would do A, B, C, and D. And then they take it and edit it and then make you think there's something else happening. And it's so hilarious. That's why I will not get a TikTok because people on there are just so immature and silly acting and they're too sensitive most of the time. Not maybe not you guys, but a lot of people on there. They got like ADD or something. Um and they can't focus long enough to get the entire context of a YouTube video. So they go on TikTok and just get bits and pieces of things that are taken out of context. So that's why I won't get a TikTok. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, Anastasia. Okay, I'm gonna read all the. I'm gonna read all the things. Hold on. I answered you already. I said, hold his hand and kiss his cheek, and every time he buys you something, okay, that's what you do. You look him in his eye and tell him thank you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Y'all gotta listen when I answer y'all's questions. Um. I am too old for a baby because I will not be having no more kids, ma'am. My kid's about to graduate and I'm about to be free. So, yes, I am too old to have some kids, but it's time for me to do what I need to do. 
I'm not too old biologically, but I'm too old like mentally to be raising a whole nother one. You're getting ready to start, a, a, you know, a, the next chapter, ma'am. Okay. What is your routine for super hot days? Fenda? What do you mean super hot days? Go to the pool? Hash meter? Swim? Stay out? Get in the air conditioner? <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's see what I missed. Okay, Oksana, you're 24, but a 45-year-old man asked you on a denture date. You told him you wanted new shoes for the date, but he told me the ones I wanted are too expensive. So should I drop him because he can't afford what I want? Um, You need to come in there with some ugly, ugly shoes on and embarrass them or just drop them. It depends on your sense of humor and what you, how bored you are. Of what you will do. You need to come in there with some like boots on or some man, like some ugly like crocs or something, ma'am. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> you come in there with some crocs on. That's a joke. Show up with crocs. I dare you. Somebody says wear some loafers with a dress. <laughs> Well, you couldn't give me the shoes I wanted to match my outfit, so I just got me some Crocs. No, wear Crocs, y'all. No, I'm serious, wear Crocs. If you want to make a statement. <laughs> no. But yes, if you're not going to do that, cancel the date. You're like, well, you know, I'm not going to be able to make it. Good luck. Crocs with an evening dress or a cocktail dress is a look. Here we like. Mm hmm. Shira, he's in the military. Wants me to wants to see me when he comes home on vacation. His car is where he's staying at. He wants me to pick him up for the first date. Should I? I'm not even answering that question because y'all already know what I'm gonna say. What is you doing, ma'am? Is you that you know what? Rewind this video and learn how to do your makeup so you don't have to ever ask that question again. Shira, could you please explain the psychology behind Dusty's referring to women as females? Um, I think the way that men do that is to make themselves seem harder like more masculine when they say females, because it's instead of saying, a you know, um, the B word, it's less harsh. And instead of saying um, lady or woman, which is more respectable, they choose the term female because they only see you to be bred with. Like, because when you describe any type of animal, you describe them as a female. Um, you describe it by their sex versus their gender or their, you know, other qualities and characteristics. So they only see you as sex. And this is why you should only see them as money. Call them an ATM. <laughs> because we don't really value their sex. We just value what they can give us. And it, it goes to show you what they value the most when they refer to you as your sex. So make it work for you, ma'am. If they're going to call you by your sex, and call them by what they can contribute to you, which is money. Call them ATM. <laughs> Honestly, it's a it's a way to be forthcoming, telling you their true intent without being as disrespectful as they could, but with less respect than they should. That's literally what it is. And it's kind of ignorant because it shows you that they're purposely thinking about it because they don't want you to get too much of a big head. And they also don't want you to feel like, 
um, they respect you. And they also are secretly telling you that they only see you for sex. So if you can read between the lines and interpret that term, depending on who it's from, then you already know what they're about. And you will never take them seriously. Okay. Mm -hmm. It rubs you the wrong way because it's because of what it means. It means you're only your sex. That's all it means. You're being referred to as only your female genitalia. Your, that's it. And that's why it rubs you the wrong way, ma'am, because they only see you as that. Thank you. Last night you got your man to send you all the money you needed to start your business. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Uh-oh, Mika. Yes, get it, girl. <laughs> Good luck on your business. Hey, when you get it started, let me know, girl. Okay. If they call women females, you know their wallet and bank account are empty. Exactly, Coco Matcha. You know it's empty, super empty. Probably on negative. <laughs> it's not just empty, ma'am. It's negative. <laughs> okay, and they can't deposit anything in there because it'll disappear towards what they owe. So they have to go to the check cash in place. Okay. What facial masks do I use? Whatever one I buy. You know what I mean? Um, whichever one I buy. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. They all pretty much do the same. I like ones that purify and like hydrate. Okay. Do you get facials? Nope, I don't get facials, ma'am. I had a mini facial one time in my life. <laughs> I do my own skincare at home. I have so much stuff for my face. It's, I might as well have gotten a facial. It just, it like I literally have all this stuff. I use a spin brush to uh, wash my face. Um, which also exfoliates at the same time. I drink a lot of water. I moisturize a lot. So I really don't do like facials because I don't really need them. Okay. But I might get one in the future. We'll see. <laughs> I, might, I might get them done in the future if I feel like I should, you know, treat myself or something like that. But I really don't need it. Best oils um, for your body. I just use those bath oils after you get out of the shower. And then I also have some Joe Malone oil that's scented really nice if you want a scented oil. Or you can make your own oils. Just get you some bath oil and then mix in your favorite essential oils or your perfume and shake it up. Just mix your own up or buy some. And I use this, Mr. <laughs> okay. I don't do Botox. I'm, a, I'm allergic to Botox. Um, it's like, I'm allergic to a lot of stuff, like hair dye, all those kind of stuff. I can't even get my eyes microbladed or whatever. I'm allergic to that. So I know I'm probably going to definitely be allergic to Botox. I don't use Botox. So. I'm going to mess up my face and risk the risk it all. <laughs> okay. Y'all, let me tell y'all a secret. I don't use Botox. I don't use any of that stuff in my face. The only thing I've ever had done is a little lip filler and it dissolves. So that's literally all that I've had. I just don't work. I sleep. Um, I drink a lot of water. I don't eat meat. 
So uh, my skin is going to look a little bit better than people that do those things because of, I guess, the sacrifice. I don't know. <laughs> That's it. Thank you. No, I'm not messing with that stuff. I don't need it, ma'am. You know, I get a lot of, of places sending me um, DMs talking about, we're going to give you a free service, a free plastic surgery, a free this and a free that. Um, if we can, you know, if you can advertise for us and I just click delete because I really don't need it. And I prefer them give it to someone who really needs it. <laughs> like, no, I'm good. I'm good, y'all. Y'all go give it to somebody who, who looking like who did it and why and look, you know. Who really needs it? <laughs> who really wants it? Because no one really needs it. Who really wants it? I'll say that. Someone who actually wants it, because I don't need it. Yes, I've been offered free plastic surgery, free ever like free all this stuff, and I'll just turn it down. I've, I've been offered free um, dental, whatever I wanted. I've been offered all, I can get all that stuff done for free. I don't even have to pay for it. And that's, that's the thing that y'all don't realize. I don't need it and I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want to look like a cartoon character. That's the only reason. I want to still look like myself when I get to where I want to be. Actually, I am where I, exactly where I want to be. But when I get further along, I want to look like I want to look like how I started. Okay, because whenever I watch people transform themselves and they don't look like how they started, it, to me, it seems like they their self-esteem did not grow with their um, success. It shrunk. And I want my self-esteem and my success to grow simultaneously. I want to look like how I started. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Or without any, you know, plastic surgeries or, you know, a bunch of dental work that makes me look like a cartoon character. You know, you know what I'm saying. You can always improve naturally. I believe in naturally improving yourself. And if there's something that you really, really, really don't like, plastic surgery is okay. If that's what you really feel you need to have self-esteem, but I don't feel that way. And I also feel like I like, I would like to start off you know, natural and reach success naturally. Okay. You agree? Yeah, sprinkle, sprinkle. I've seen too many people mess themselves up looking like who did it and why even though they spent a lot of money on it or it was free, it still, it didn't look good and it didn't look like them anymore. And I want to look like me. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thanks to you, I got 3K allowance. Y2K, yes, get it. So happy for you. Get your money. That's a good amount um, for starting out, for sure. I mean, you can stack that, start a business, pay your bills. It, depending on how much bills you have, you can get like, you know, you can have the car, nice car, whatnot. How can you appear more confident? Be more confident. It starts from within. If you don't have confidence within, you can't appear nothing. You have to be more confident. Okay. If y'all gonna come in here and talk trash about people, I'm deleting and putting y'all the time out. Who cares, y'all? This is not a gossip channel. Y'all know where the gossip channels are? Go over there if y'all like the gossip. It's a very low class. Okay. Go gossip elsewhere. Yes, the title is Attracting Trolls. Of course it is. Trolls are my biggest supporters. Y'all didn't know? <laughs> Girl, if, exactly. If, 
if trolls weren't in here, I don't know what I would do. They are, they, you know what, you know how some of y'all don't get the notifications when I go live? That's because you have to click to get all notifications every time I go live. And there's two um, different distinct things that you have to click. The trolls clicked it. That's why they be on here like crazy and quick, fast and in a hurry. So y'all, if y'all aren't getting all the notifications, y'all have to go and click that thing twice. Or I don't know, someone explain how to do it in the comments so people can get all the notifications every time I go live. Thank y'all. <laughs> okay, because they the trolls figured it out. If one of them trolls need to tell y'all how to do it because they know. <laughs> have I have I tried Sacred by Beyonce? Yes, I have. Go to my Instagram account, Shira Seven, and it's the verific it's the verified account with the blue check. And I actually have a post with me trying it and seeing the result. Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. So okay, so I'm going to get my nails did tomorrow because these are grown out. And Peak Friday, Nicki Minaj's nail company sent me some nails. So I'm going to go get them professionally put on. So they're going to be popping off everywhere. So I gave two pair to my daughters and they, they did what they wanted with them. But these are the ones I'm going to get put on. And they come with this cute little drawer with the little stickers and the extra nails and a little uh, file. This is Pink Friday. Isn't it cute? Let me push it back in. But the nails, these are the ones I'm going to put on because these are cute. They have short, classy ones too, y'all. So y'all go support my girl, Nikki Minaj, with Pink Friday Nails. Y'all right. going to have to type that in because, you know, I didn't put the link. But I probably will afterwards. So they look like they're thick. So I'm going to show y'all. they thick. Not super thick. But they're not the flimsy cheap stuff. And let's see how they look on this. So they're good quality. In case y'all was wondering. Okay. And then she sent me some long ones. I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna do. I don't know how look at these. I can have them cut down, I guess, but woo! I like the color. Maybe I'll wear it when I do my ratchet skit. My next ratchet skit, I'm gonna save these. <laughs> but some of y'all be wearing them this long for real. I don't know how y'all white. All right. Very carefully. I would probably cut these down a bit if I did to wear them. But definitely gonna get these put on soon. Probably tomorrow if mm, time permits. Big wig you've worn yet. Best wig uh, that I've worn. Ooh, best wig I've worn was some Y wigs a long time ago, years ago. It, it was like a red, red wig, like a ginger looking wig. And the, I think it was just the way it was styled and the, how the lace was cut on it that made me really like it. So, um, Yes, I'll just, I, I think I have some pictures of it somewhere. Oh, but yeah, I can't remember the name of it, but I know I got it on Wild Wigs and it was like a reddish, coppery, it had highlights in it, wig. Let me see if I can find it, a picture of it. <sighs> Let me see what year was that. I'm just going to, I don't know what year it was, child. I think I know what year it was about. Yeah, I think I'm going to find it. It was years ago. Years and years. Okay, maybe not that many years ago. Okay. Hold on. because It's been so, been so many years. Can I keep up with all my wigs? Okay, I think I found it. Wait a minute. Okay, maybe not that far back. I'm trying. 
maybe it was further back. Okay, here it is. Here, it is. I think this is it. That might be it. This might be it. But this, it's a, it's that color. So let me see if I can find the actual wig. Let's see if that color was. Ooh. I'm impressing myself. I'm, yes. Ooh, no, that was a bad angle. Hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to find it for y'all because y'all asked. So many wigs. I had a really cute blonde wig too that I still kind of wear. But here it is. I found it. Okay, y'all. I look like a little bobblehead because I was thinner then. That's what my my kids call me bobblehead because my head was so big. Because I was so small. See there? That wig, y'all. This wig, look at the hairline. Okay, that's from Y Wigs. Girl, that's when them brick brows was in, them thick brows. <laughs> Woo! This wig is from Lux Couture. Yes, uh, it's in the description bar linked. If y'all would like, well, I think just the uh, link to the website is in the in the name of the wig, definitely in the description bar. Thank you. Do I ever use drugstore brand? Yes, I use every type of makeup. I don't discriminate. Okay. Beauty supply makeup. Drugstore makeup, high-end makeup, makeup people send me for free. <laughs> Chanel. I got a lot of Chanel, Dior. I, I just got all the makeups, ma'am. I got all the makeups, like whatever. I get it all. Whatever looks good, I'm wearing it. Okay. Okay. My favorite foundation, definitely Fenty. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Favorite Chanel lipstick. Oh, that's a hard one. So many. There's so many colors. I like the one that kind of plumps your lips. I forgot what that one was called. It's the formula that I like. What's your makeup routine for super hot days? Pretty much the same as I just did. This is this is pretty much it because I I literally only put concealer under my eyes and around my mouth and a few dabs of this Fenty stick. I went shh, 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 and then just blended it in with a wet beauty blender. Then put powder and contour. That's literally it and a little blush, liquid. Well, not liquid, like this Fenty cream or jelly blush yeah it's very light mm -hmm. okay sprinkle sprinkle you look really young with blonde wigs on yeah i think different looks can make you look different ages that's why i like to play with different colors and different makeup looks and different wigs because you can look however you need to look and however you want to look at this day and age. That's why I say, you know, just tr just experiment and try out different ways that you can look. Uh -uh -uh. My, I don't use a, a bunch of thick foundation. I don't, I don't use that. I don't like how it looks on top of my skin. 
I try to use light foundation or matte foundation or something like if I want to glow, I'll use like a thin glowy foundation. I don't use heavy, like full, super full coverage stuff because I don't need it. Um, the necklace that I'm wearing is not on my Amazon storefront. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, Kristen. Sprinkle, sprinkle. But I have several other necklaces that I like that's on there. Your provider upped your allowance, but you feel guilty and feel like you should save some of your wedding, some for my wedding. You get married to yourself? Any advice? Yes. Um. If you're going into a marriage feeling guilty about the, the allowance that you're supposed to have anyway, and then the wedding you're going to have, either downsize the wedding and stack your allowance money in a separate account. Or make if he has the money for both, then why do you feel guilty? I don't know. It's, it's up to you, ma'am. Just if you need that money every month, then downsize the wedding. It's only going to be for one day. You're only going to remember it through pictures and videos. But that money can stack. <laughs> as long as you have the wedding you want, just downsize it a little bit. People are going to talk about it anyway, even if it's not, you know. Think about, think about you. The wedding is for you, so it, it doesn't have to, you don't have to do extra for others in, the, in your wedding. Okay. You're about to join the Level Up program, Sprinkle Sprinkle. What? Le oh, you mean the, the Facebook group, girl? Well, that's for like-minded women that are on the same mission, Sprinkle Sprinkle. Anyway, so yeah, if you need thick makeup, just make sure that it looks natural. That's all I can do. <laughs> you said you lied and told your boyfriend someone invited you for dinner this evening and he doesn't seem to be bothered by that. A little contest. You're a student and I actually abroad for an internship. Okay. Does he have anything to worry about? Like... Does he think that you're going out on a date or just dinner with a girl? You know what I mean? So it depends on how you said it, whether how he takes it. He could think you're just going out with your friend or that's a girl. We don't know. If you told him it was a guy, then if he didn't care, then he probably is trying to like not overreact. But you never know. Because if y'all don't live together and if y'all aren't in the same state, He's probably taking other women out too. <laughs> okay. So he don't, probably don't care. What do you get on your shopping trip? Didn't you ask me this early? Whatever you want. I don't. If he has specific taste, tell, have, have him pick out whatever you think that he wants you to wear if you agree with it. Um, I don't know. I'm getting what I want. Sprinkle, sprinkle. He could pick out one and I'm going to pick out the other one. He could pick out one outfit. I'm going to pick out one outfit. Okay. Let you pick out one and then he let him pick out one. There you go. Okay. How do you get him to bring gifts on the first date? By telling him what you want, what you like on the phone and through text at least a week or a couple of days in advance so he know what to come up and show up with. Oh, Naime, he says he earns 100 k a month but not giving some because tax he can offer shopping spree and provides when he is here but nothing when he is in his this home country he promises me money since we started dating seven months ago i got nothing help okay well then you wasted a lot of time you wasted seven months date guys that live near you who aren't stingy i'm gonna repeat that thank you for the donation date guys that live near you who aren't stingy sprinkle sprinkle
-hmm. How did I make my eyes blonde with a taupe eyebrow pencil? Taupe, get you a taupe eyebrow pencil. Okay. Uh, yeah, the color taupe. Men sound like a what? You've been using some of your non-romantic phrasings and tactics on your father, and now he's buying you a house. Woohoo! Uh oh, Tati Tiss, sprinkle, sprinkle. Yes, I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy that you're getting a house and you don't have to pay for it. <laughs> Thank you, Coco. How can anyone believe that and stay hope for seven months? I don't know, but people have people hold on to hope too long. I don't know why. If, if you're not delivering in the first couple of weeks, couple of days, I'm out. I'm on to the next. I mean. And during this time, when you can order stuff online and literally be delivered to you in a couple of less than an hour or a few days, y'all waiting seven months on a man to give you a couple of dollars. That's too long, man. You could have been made more money than that by now. But, <laughs> you know, starting to go fund me. <laughs> or talking to other guys or something you sitting there waiting you could have been had money and started a whole business if you had got another sugar daddy okay found out he has a fiance how do i confront him girl with with your full cart of things that you want him to purchase or the luxury item that you would like him to buy or the upgrade vehicle that you need him to put that down payment on or whatever it is that you need to be compensated for I hope he has money. If he doesn't have money, then I feel bad for you. Because he can't really make it up to you if he can't buy you anything or upgrade you in any way. So if he doesn't have money and he can't upgrade you in any way, then just ghost him. Sprinkle, sprinkle. And if he tries to come back around, then tell him, look, I, I found out about you. And I'm not getting ready to deal with no man that's not paying my bills while he's dealing with another woman. So if you want to talk to me again. I, this is how much my bills are each month. <laughs> sparkle, sparkle. Because I'm not, I'm not getting ready to talk to nobody who's been lying to me that long, and they especially engaged. They, uh, -uh they got to come with the money. Okay, you should have all bills paid, stacking and relaxing. Your husband buys you any and everything you want, but he always complains. I spend too much. Well, what's he supposed to do? He has to complain so you can feel some tinge of guilt. So you can ask less and less, but it's probably not going to work. But he hopes it does. I don't care if he's complaining. Don't ever care if he complains. That's just his way of saying he likes doing it. But you hope he doesn't. But he hopes you don't take too much advantage of him. <laughs> so I'm not getting ready to care. He gotta continue. Uh, sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. I put some of this paint up. The Dusties didn't come in here today. They almost not like makeup. <laughs> Only the. Oh, yeah. Wants. What? Don't fall for future promises. Mm -mm. If, you, if you don't have it right now, today, don't fall for the okie doke. How to get your name on his house after marriage. We're getting engaged in May in Italy. 
Um, I don't know. Like tell them to put you on there as an anniversary, first anniversary gift or something. Okay. Do you think men complaining to women faces and then show off to men? I bought her this expensive thing. Exactly. Don't listen to their complaints. We don't care. Oh, they're at work. The other sees are at work at the warehouse. Oh my goodness. How not to get emotionally attached to a married man? Date several guys at the same time. And you won't. Okay. Be looking for something more serious and just taking his money. Or just enjoy the money, ma'am. Don't worry about the other stuff. If remember they have to like you way, way more, so they shouldn't be falling for you way, way, way more, which means you can get anything out of them. So make it work in your favor. If you are catching feelings, make sure his feelings are ten times higher, ten times deeper. Remember, we don't give nothing unless they're giving ten times whatever it is emotionally. They haven't earned your emotional, you know, gifts. You can't become emotional or attached to uh, someone who's not becoming 10 times that for you. We just you got to come on. Just date other guys so you don't get emotionally attached to just one. Okay. That way, if something happens, then and, and you get cut off, you just move on easily. And came in with more than you, you know, uh, leave with more than what you came in with financially. Okay. All right. Let me get my water. Water's so good. Y'all should drink it. You want more? Mm, 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 mm. What are feminine hygiene tips you swear by? Water, deodorant, soap, body wash, shaving cream or shaving gel, um, body spray. <laughs> All the normal ones. All right. I have a lot of stuff that's linked in this. Look, I'm going to link you. Okay. Let me link you to the Amazon and you can find all the stuff that I like to use. It's right there. Go ahead and click on it. And I'll give you, it's all the details in there. <laughs> I can't remember all of them, but a lot of them are in there. See the link? Click it. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> you said your dad is stingy. What can you do? Tell him you met an older man that has money. That's what you do. Oh, I met an older guy. He's gonna buy me that. I don't. You don't have to get it anymore. I don't need your money anymore. Got an older man, lager, and then he'd be like, "You can't date. You, you shouldn't be dating that older man." Da, 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 da. Well, then I need this much money. I need this and I need that. Young guys don't pay. They don't pay enough. Well, then he'll see how much you need. Find a picture of some older guy online and show it to someone so it gets back to your dad or show it to him. It's like, look, this is my new friend or my new boyfriend. They're going to give you what you want quick, man. Unless they don't care, then they will, then they'll, um, they won't care. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh-huh. So just get all of whatever you can get. So uh, people are asking me, how's my father-daughter relationship? My father-daughter relationship is fine. It's like, I've had, and I've also had stepdads that really uh, like gave me a lot because um, my mom married uh, a couple times and she always married up. So, you know, we were always living our best lives, had nice cars, you know, as teenagers and things like that. So I've had the opportunity and the privilege to have like three dads. So that's really good. Also, liking older men has nothing to do with your father unless you link it there. I like older men because they have older money. <laughs> okay. That, that, that has to do more with greed. <laughs> okay. That has more to, that has more to do with greed than anything. And I'm I'm telling you that when I was young, I, I told y'all I went for all the cute pretty boys. I had rich guys that were cute, young, and all that kind of stuff. But what I learned fast, quick, and in a hurry, the older ones give you money quick, fast, and in a hurry. So I don't like wasting time. <laughs> so you go for the older ones to get the money faster, especially if they have money. And they treat you a lot better. Uh, meeting your husband for lunch, should you dress up or casual? Girl, it's your husband. You can dress whatever you want. <laughs> so, yeah, I, it's it's more about the money. It's not about anything like that. Cause some people's dads are old. Some people's dads are young. Uh oh, Melissa, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, girl. It's about the the fast amount. I mean, the the amount and the fast way you can get more money. Thank you, girl. You feel like you're the most loyal person ever, and having a hard time fake faking having someone. How can I change that? Um, lo loyalty only gets you to a certain place with certain types of people who value loyalty. So here's the thing. Loyalty does not have to be 100% true. It can just be a perception. Okay. So you can still appear loyal through perception, but you don't have to actually or it's in your case, it's the opposite. You're not appearing loyal through perception, but then you still really are loyal. So why do you feel that? If you are if you're still loyal, but only unloyal in the perception, then why does it matter? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Is loyal your is loyalty your greatest asset? Is that all you have to offer? Is your loyalty? <laughs> you know, you're not a prize. You're not arm candy. You're not what else? His dream woman. All you have to offer is loyalty. That's it. Most men throw that in the garbage. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. All right. Yes, be loyal to yourself. Exactly, Autumn. You can be as loyal as you want. You think that's going to stop them from being unloyal? You better be loyal to you. Okay, let me see. You said I missed your super chat. Let me look. Mm -mm -mm. Thanks, Kristen, for being a new member. Appreciate you. Okay. I don't see yours. Who said I missed the super chat? It's, it didn't come through. You must have deleted it by accident because I don't see it unless it has not come through yet. Okay. Okay. Jazz says she's talking to a guy who's trying to lack trick you or lock you into a relationship before major gift giving. Should I entertain a girl? You can't be in a relationship unless bills is being paid. So I don't know what you're talking about. 
Um, you don't take yourself off the market if he's not paying any bills or giving you anything worth it. Okay. Stay on the market until he invests in you. Tell him this is what commitment means to me. It means I'm financially safe and secure with the man that I am with. That means you're paying bills. It, may, it means you're get, gifting. It means you're giving me an allowance or some type of money. It means whatever you need it to mean financially. So if you only want an allowance, tell them that's what, okay, if we're going to be together in a committed relationship, then I, I need to be put on direct deposit every month for this amount of money from you. Or you, I need you to um, pay these bills every month. Or I need you to, um, you know, pay up my rent or something for six months so I don't have to work or whatever it is you need them to do for you in order to not entertain other people in his eyes. <laughs> okay. Thoughts of sharing your boyfriend on social media? Um, is he rich? How many girls are going to try to get to him, ma'am? Uh oh, Chloe, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, girl. Think about this. Don't tag him. If he if he sees it and likes it, they're gonna they're gonna put one and two together. Then they're gonna be in his DMs. Don't tag him, ma'am. Don't even post him. Uh oh, Chloe. Thank you, girl. Honestly, if he's cute, don't post him. If he's rich, don't post him. All right, here you go. Just post like a little piece of him so that they can see that it's a person. <laughs> but that's literally it. Don't post the whole thing. Okay. Just, just post his arm or like a little piece of his <laughs> body that people don't recognize. What if he wants to go through your phone? Does he pay for your phone, ma'am? Does he pay for the privilege to know everything about you? Does he pay bills? Do you work? <laughs> Are you in any type of debt? Do you have a nice car? Because I will never pass my phone over to no man that's not doing anything for me. Not, and if he is and I'm dumb enough to have, you know, something else going on, it's going to be in private or on another phone. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We don't give phone. We don't give our phones to men. Do they pay all the bills? They paying for your data? They're paying. Nope. And that's exactly the excuse that you use while you're not going to give it to them. Excuse me. I don't have a ring on my finger. You don't pay any of my bills. Hopefully he's paying bills. Okay. How to get a man to pay off credit card bill? Give it to him. It's like, you know what? This is what I want you to do for me. Pay these bills. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Especially if y'all are in a relationship, he should want to help you get out. Give him credit card debts. Mm -hmm. Is marriage without having to sleep with him possible? Yeah, if he old and can't do nothing. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. Uh-oh, hair slayer. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you. Greetings. Is there a way of getting money out of old men without seeing them? They showing interest online. Sure. They got cash app or any type of Venmo and they know how to use it. PayPal or something. Credit card numbers or something, man. I don't know what to do. But what do you think about dating men your age who want to spoil me? Um, I think you should do whatever is most beneficial for you. And that means financially and emotionally. Uh, 
I feel like you never look hygienic. Even if I am, I always feel like you look dirty or dingy. How to fix? Um, if you always feel dirty, girl, you gotta. How do people that look clean look? What What is your definition of hygienic or clean? Um, perhaps it's the colors that you wear, maybe um, the makeup, the nails, a wig. You know what I mean? It's easy to look hygienic. All you got to do is look like you're clean. Someone says that's a mental issue. Well, I don't know. I, I don't think about looking clean and hygienic. I just look, think about looking good. So if your focus is on how clean and hygienic that you look, someone says it's a mental illness. Or issue, not illness, a mental issue. I don't know. Maybe you're focused too much on it. Or maybe someone told you that how you look and you just keep, you know, thinking that's how you look. I don't know. I don't have to see what you look like, but ask other people if you look clean. <laughs> they say no, then okay. Then then you're you might be on to something. Okay. Someone says she's just self-conscious. I don't know what it is, but ask somebody, ask three people. And if you get the same answer, then stop worrying about it and do something about it or don't do nothing about it. If they give you the answer you will need to hear. Okay. How do you ask him for gifts without turning him off? Asta. Um, nicely. Or you compliment someone else's item that you want. Like, oh my gosh, I love her purse. That's so that's so beautiful. I wish I had one like that. But it's so expensive. What purse is it? Um, it's this and that. Oh, really? Well, maybe I could get it for you. Or how much does it cost? Oh, da 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 da. da. Oh, you know what? I don't know. I haven't checked on the price lately. Should I check on it? <laughs> Should I check on it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, it's too expensive for you. Let me see. How do you know what I can afford or not? I'm pretty sure you can afford it. If you, I think if you really like me, you definitely can afford it. Well, how much is it? It is thousands and thousands of dollars. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> mm -hmm. You said there's a huge sale at Ulta. Okay. Sparkle, sparkle. There's a huge sale at Ulta, y'all. Thank you for letting us know. What should you invest the most in your looks? Okay, whatever it is. Okay, I, I don't know. Like, if I had to add up all the money I spent on my looks, I think it would definitely be in makeup and skincare. Okay. Uh huh. Someone says, yes, lead with expensive stuff. Yes. And then he'll, if, if he doesn't want to spend that much money, then he'll give you an option. Well, that's a little bit steep. But if you can find something within this price range, then maybe we could see. You know, sometimes they'll give you a smaller price range. So always start off high. Does your book include how to improve confidence? I want to have the, your mindset, but you don't feel like you qualify for a provider. Okay, Chloe, okay, if that's your picture... You should 
feel like you qualify for a provider because I always did, no matter what I looked like. <laughs> okay. It's in here. I honestly, I, I, I think I just grew up um, witnessing provider men with lots of different people. So I saw the possibility. And a lot of those women didn't look all, like all they were, you know, beauty queens or models. They just look like women who took care of themselves and had high confidence. So I grew up like I used to babysit um, kids for a couple and he was a total provider. And it was just this lady that stayed home and played in her makeup and did her hair and went shopping all day. And she was so nice. And whenever they would go out for the evening, I, and I was like a teenager, I'd go over there and babysit um, her son. And they would have like nice cars, nice house in a nice neighborhood. And he just took total care of her. So I saw that growing up. I saw my sister. Um, she had a husband that was a total provider, you know saw that growing up. I, I saw a lot of people that had total providers growing up. My, uh, my childhood best friend's dad was a total provider. I saw all of that. It's, and the mom was not, you know, this glam queen. So I saw all these different types of women, every age, race, you know, whatever, get provided for by all these different types of men. So I knew that that was probably going to be what I'm going to have when I grow up because I've seen it so many times. So I think it's good to, to see things or get used to the idea of knowing that it's 100% possible. You know what I'm saying? A provider doesn't mean what you think it means. It doesn't mean somebody that's better than you. It means someone who has enough money to pay for you and your lifestyle. <laughs> that you want. That's all it means. Okay. So y'all have to get that in your mind first, what a provider actually means. It means a man that likes you enough and has enough money to provide you the lifestyle that you want. That's all it means. It, it has nothing to do with your confidence. Even though you should have confidence, that's what I've learned growing up. Okay. Just understand that you, that's not what a provider is not better than you. They're just able to provide you with the lifestyle that you want in order for you to be with them. Okay. You said, what do you think about dating outside your race? I think it's 2024. Oh, Chloe, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Me too, girl. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right. Today, these men, you mean these dusties. Today, these dusties want to know what you bring to the table. Where are these providers? You in the broke neighborhood, ma'am, if, the, if they're asking you that question. Go on to the nice side of town, man. <laughs> if they're asking you that question, you with the wrong age group and in the wrong neighborhood. Okay, move on to the next. <laughs> if a man asks you that, he's dusty. Just... Avoid him for the rest of your life. Okay. How to look older, still have a baby face. You need to look more sophisticated. So when you go out, get you a nice pair of shades. Wear solid color clothing and more classic uh, forms. Um. Limit your accessories. Like, so, for example, I would take this off if I want to look a little bit older. You put your your hair together. You put your hair on. Put your, have you some nice sunglasses. I'm sure your nails are done or at least neatly manicured. 
sucking them cheekbones. Have a serious look on your face. Arch one eyebrow. This aged me a couple years. See? But now I'm going to rewind this back on. I think I put it on right. And now I'm just outside. So accessories and lack of accessories. Different accessories can help you look older. Different cuts of clothing can make you look older. Um, someone says eyeliner. Yeah, do your eyeliner. How can you ask a new man to take over car payments? Tell him you need help paying your car payments or he's going to get towed. You start crying. Whatever the car payment is, like double it. So you can have some spending money too. <laughs> All right. What to do if your provider baby daddy cheated but and still provides? Girl, you can do whatever you want. You're a grown woman and you ain't married. So whatever you want to do. If you want to make him pay for him cheating, then make sure he upgrades something that you have. It's going to upgrade your vehicle where you live, some jewelry or something. Make him pay for the forgiveness if he wants you to forgive him. If not, you ain't you ain't married to him. You can go date other people. It really wouldn't be cheating because you ain't married. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I mean, he cheated on, if y'all are in a relationship together and he cheated on you in, as a boyfriend, then, I mean, y'all are single till y'all are married. So go date. Okay. Is he on child support? Because that's what he would be after he cheated. All right. Uh-oh, Dusty's in the house again. Must be the whole lunch break. Or are you just getting off the, the graveyard shift? <laughs> All right. Your boyfriend told you to book a hotel and he would pay me back. Girl, that's not your boyfriend. That's your ex now because I would have hung up in his face. Girl, why, why are you dating a Dusty? Ugh. Don't tell nobody else that. Break up with him and go find you somebody that has some money. Okay. I'm helping the future generation over here. If you're, okay, let me tell you something, ma'am. I don't know how you look, but if you don't look, if you don't look good enough to value yourself more than that, go get you a makeover. Use that hotel money to go get you a makeover so that you will never have a man asking you to pay for the hotel again, ma'am. Okay. Go, go get you some Fenty, get you some wigs, some makeup, go, go to Sephora or somewhere and have them do your makeup and teach you how to do the makeup. Because if you got a if you got a grown man asking you to pay for the hotel, something wrong. Okay, go get it. Go go run to Sephora with that hotel money. Run. Tell him I sent you. When you get up in there, be like, "She right there sent me to Sephora." She said I was going down the wrong path. And she she sent me here. Help me. That's what you do, ma'am. Okay. You're gonna pay for a hotel room to roll around with a broke man for a few minutes. He gonna disappear and never pay you back, and you're gonna be looking stupid. Go spend all that money on some new Fenty. Or go to levelupcosmetics.us. Go to Lawless. Get you some Lawless lip plumper. Look, I'm trying to advertise all this makeup I didn't just use. Go get you some. Go get you some makeup, ma'am, or a wig or something. Go to wildwigs.com. Go to Lux Couture Wigs. Get you some wigs and some makeup. 
so this will never happen to you again. Okay? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Mm-hmm. Darius must be unemployed. Okay. Why does he keep making me guess about himself? Went to a date with a guy and he makes me guess about his job, birthday, province. Does he want me to stroke his ego? I think he's just trying to not tell his life story on the first couple of dates and wants to remain mysterious in some way. Uh, to see if you like him for him. Hopefully he got some money to back it up. Guess all rich places. Guess all rich stuff. Like, watch my video yesterday. Treat everyone, treat all men like providers. So guess that he has a lot of money. Guess that he's from a town that's rich. Guess all the stuff about money. <laughs> okay. Guess that he's a spender. How do you talk to business people as if it's your husband's business dinner and his boss or people from office want to talk to you? Um, have something already pre-planned to talk about, like an interest that you have that you're well versed in. That will probably be helpful. And whatever they're asking you about, try to turn the conversation towards what it is that you are, you know, confidently able to talk about. Okay. Or simply compliment them and start talking about them and let them do most of the talking. Like if they say, oh, how are you? You know, what are you, how, you know, how do you blah, 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 blah. And then you'll be like, oh, you know what? That's a really nice time. Or, oh, you know what? Such and such um, talks about you all the time and, uh, you know, nothing but, you know, good things. So tell me about such and such. And then just let them keep talking. Okay. Always put the conversation back on them or find a topic that you're able to, you know, talk about and change the, um, the subject or always bring it right back to them. Mm -hmm. I missed your super chat. Uh oh, hold on, Emily. Thank you, Emily. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I didn't see a, a comment though, but I did. I forgot to answer the the last part of someone else's question, so I'm going to answer it. About does my book contain anything about self confidence? Yes. <laughs> it reminds you who you are and who you're supposed to be. Okay. I want my book. I have several books, so which one? <laughs> Leveling up to your best life probably has a lot in there for confidence and um, personal development in here. Sprinkle, sprinkle book. Okay. Strategy, humor, humor all that kind of stuff. So just get all the books. They're all be helpful. Thank you, Sarah. Thanks for the super sticker. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Opinion on going through a man's phone. If you need a vehicle upgrade, if you, if you need the latest Chanel, if you need something, uh, stacks of cash, go through the phone. <laughs> All right. If you don't need nothing right now, save it for later. All right. Only go through it if it's beneficial to you. Don't go through it if you ain't going nowhere and he's not, he don't have enough money to pay for your forgiveness. I'm not going through no phone unless I'm ready to go shopping. I have what I already want picked out and put in the cart. 
or if you can't get it any other way. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't go through the phone unless you're willing to really do something about it. Whatever you find. Mm hmm. Realizing that women in your family didn't teach you much about womanhood and dealing with men. It's been a struggle made my mistakes and ashamed of now. Your channel has helped you a lot. Okay, Kay. Well, I'm glad. You know, a lot of older women or parents don't like to talk to their daughters about this type of stuff because they've been raised with societal rules or they don't want to tell you to do something bad because it'll make them look bad or they don't want to tell you how to, you know, get the most out of something if they haven't done it. So, you know, I think that's why. But I, I would let rather my children and my daughters be well equipped with knowledge and able to make whatever decisions they need to make that are most beneficial to them. Um, he has booked concerts. I wanted spa weekends. I wanted boat and villa for a B day, but no material gifts yet. When can I start asking for? Um, okay concerts okay first of all if you didn't want to go to that concert don't go if you want it spa okay see he's trying to do stuff that he's enjoying if it's a date he wants to enjoy the date too and he don't like all that girly romantic stuff okay he want to go to a concert he's not he don't care what you want that's what he just told you i don't care what you want i'm going to this concert i don't care if you want spa day i don't care if you want boats in the villa for your birthday, I, I'm not even finna get you no gift yet. I just want to go to the concert. I am unromantic and I don't really like you on that level. That's what he's telling you. So if you want him to treat you more feminine, you need to act, speak, talk, and walk more, talk more feminine to him. So he, all you got to do is like, you know what? The concert seems nice, but you know, I really just I also say I also would like to go to the spa before the concert so I can look good for you. So let him give you the money so you can go to the spa by yourself. Then go to the concert. And then after the concert, say, like, oh, that was so loud. Now, you know, I just need to relax in a, a more relaxing type of atmosphere. Let's go to the villa. You know, because um, that's what I really want. And I really like doing like, you know, Fun things like shopping and getting my hair. You might you might be too girly for him, but at the same time, you need to remind him that you are a girl and that you need him to do more romantic things for you. But some guys are just not romantic, so that's why you need two. Do you want as romantic? Do you want I can pay them bills? Because a lot of people aren't going to uh, be your definition of the perfect man. They're just not. So you need to find one that's romantic. And you need to find one that's got the money. Or if you can find one that's romantic and money, then you know you can dump the other one. Or just keep him for bill pay. I don't know. Or savings or whatever. But that's why you need more than one. If one won't, the other one will. <laughs> okay. You said these wigs influence my personality. That's true. They do. When I when I wear certain wigs, you know, I feel like like when I wear my darker wigs, if I more what you call it, blacks or brown wigs, I think I'm more like to the point. But when I wear my lighter wigs and I uh, my lighter colors and things like that, I feel like okay, I'm gonna try to help y'all by being nicer. <laughs> I feel nicer. Because I don't really look like myself when I wear these. But when I'm in my regular look, I'm going to tell you how it is. I'll still tell you how it is like this. But I, I'm steadily looking at myself. And so I'm trying to, like, okay, be nicer, be more feminine. Don't get these dusty like you could. <laughs> when I got on them black and brown wigs, watch out. Oh, Ann, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, girl. That's my true self. 
<laughs> okay. I like to switch it up though. Mm, thank you. I have a new wig while I'm waiting to wear it's black too. I'll probably wear that next week. Why why do y'all who who is out there dwindling y'all's self-worth and self-esteem? Who's out there doing this to y'all? Let me know. I'm a get them. Why uh, so every five questions is how do I how do I increase my self-value? How do I increase my self-esteem? Who's out there lowering it? Who do I need to go talk to? Who is out here lowering y'all self-esteem? <laughs> what? You said the cute broke guys. Then stop dealing with broke guys. Deal with... Deal with someone who boosts your self-esteem. That's how, ma'am. You deal with somebody that thinks you're all that. Stop dealing with guys you have to prove yourself to. Deal with guys who are trying to prove themselves to you. That's how you boost it. That's the if you're if you're talking about dating, deal with guys that are lucky to be with you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You say your dad. Well, then don't listen to him no more. It's like, huh? Your opinion don't count. Okay. If you don't like what they hear, then don't agree with it. If you don't like what you're hearing out of someone's mouth, don't agree with it. Instead, replace it with something that makes you feel good about you. Liz, thank you, Sprinkle Sprinkle Liz. You said you need a break from work. Your provider is paying your bills, all of them. What do you think about quitting and traveling? Any recommendations? Um. Make sure you have enough in your savings account to where if you never want to return, you're good until you figure out what you're going to do next. You can get that from him too if you need. And travel wherever you want to go, wherever you've been trying to go, or whatever you've been wanting to go. Because I don't know. I don't have any recommendations. But I do feel like go, go somewhere where you've always wanted to go. That way, you can scratch it off your list. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. What kind of, okay, you said, do I recommend heavy makeup or more natural? It depends on how, what you working with underneath. You know, if you need heavy makeup, put it on. If you don't, you don't have to put up too much on if you look good without too much. You know what I'm saying? Just whatever it is, customize it to what you need and what you look like. Okay. It's like too much. Whenever I think of too much makeup, I think of camera makeup, like makeup for camera, like photo shoots or whatnot. They have to really do you up so that when the angles of light hit you, you know, it looks good. Don't look like you're getting ready to go to a photo shoot when you walk outside the house. So, um, it's not as heavy. It's not as concentrated, but a lighter version. Okay. Back in like a few years ago, it was very in style to do a lot of heavy makeup. Like I showed y'all a picture earlier when like 2000 and what, 20, 20. <laughs> they had crud crease, all, you know, lashes, Thick brows, you know, everything, contour, you know, everything like just uh, uh, uh. that was like the style years ago. But the styles of makeup change, just like clothing style changes. So just go with what's now, which is more of like a softer glam, like this kind of. Maybe you can add a little bit more color, but a softer glam. You don't have to be all 18 layers. If you don't, if your skin looks good, you don't need 18 layers of makeup. Oh, Miriam, sprinkle, sprinkle. Thank you, girl. So. Thank you. Thank you, Miriam. 
styles of makeup change, but softer looks are timeless. So there's classic makeup looks, of course, yes. Thank you, Lauren. I can switch it up though. I can look this way, that way, however I need to look. <laughs> I like doing makeup, so I like to have fun with it. But, you know, if you're all going out to freestyle and all that kind of stuff and attract certain types of guys, then keep that in mind when you do your makeup. You don't want them like looking at you like, like that because it's too much. How do you spot a womanizer? You know, even if he's rich. I don't really care if he's a womanizer. Does he pay? Because I'm going to be a, a manizer, whatever you're calling it. <laughs> you going to learn from me or I'm going to learn from him. Either way, it's going to be beneficial. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> You see, I, I go with the approach to I'm, I'm never going to be the victim. I'm always going to either learn, improve, flip it and make it work for my benefit. I won't care. I don't care if he's a womanizer. I'm, yeah, I'm going to do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's the matter? Be a womanizer or you won't. I'm going to do the same thing. I might learn something from you. You might learn something from me. And then when we go our separate ways, we might be better than we started. Sprinkle, sprinkle. You're 19. What can I do to find a provider? Um, get to 21 so he can actually take you places and you can actually drink alcohol. Unless in your country you can drink at 18. I don't know because some countries are different. Um, don't date anything broke. Go to the rich side of town. Hang out in the rich side of town, do your errands in the rich side of town, and eventually you're going to bump into someone and meet someone that's going to have money. Go as much as you can. Consistency is the key. It's a numbers game. Okay? You can apologize when you need some money, ma'am. You only apologize when it's beneficial to you. Yes. <laughs> Remember, if it don't make money, it don't make what sense. If it ain't making you money, then you ain't got to do nothing. <laughs> uh oh, it's Ike Turner 2.0. So you still got that bowl cut. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> Save your money from your job and plan your visits strategically. Okay, I guess y'all are giving each other advice in the comments. Thank y'all. What do you do if you have a cheap provider husband and pays all bills but doesn't spoil you or give you your an allowance? Get another one, man. What you what you wait for? You got you got some time for the side dude. Make sure the side dude is rich. Always got a rich one on the side. If he can't do it, another one will. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So ask them, like, you know what? Can I get this or can I get that? If you, if you want to be spoiled, then go get spoiled. Where you are your own free person, you can do whatever you choose. You got free will. If he won't, another one will. But make sure you ask him first. Give him the opportunity. Tell him what you want. If he say no, okay, I'll find another thing. Oh, Danielle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Darius must be gay looking for a man the way he be up in here all the time. Did you learn some tips, Darius, to get to the PP? <laughs> Y'all are silly. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Danielle. You really pay for, for him to hear that? <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Y'all are so silly. Why do you say people are single if they aren't yet married to a man? Okay. Legally, by the government, you are single. 
You can't check married on a box. You can only check single when you're filling out that paperwork, ma'am. So legally, you are single. When you die on your death certificate, if you ain't married, they got to click single on a little box. <laughs> okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. When you are filling out paperwork for anything, if you ain't married, you got to click single on the little box. When you file your taxes and you ain't married, you got to click single on the little box. Okay? When you register your kids to the school, you got to click single on the little box with your name. So until you can stop checking or clicking on single, that's, I mean, literally, you're single until you're married. You can have a boyfriend, you can have a fiance, but you still can't click married. Can't click that married box. So on all, Paperwork, all government forms, all documents, you are legally considered single. Okay? Sure, your provider has hygiene issues. It keeps other girls away, but I'm afraid he may upset my feminine bout. Ew, how do you address it by keeping his back undesirable, undesirable to others? Okay. This is a weird question and it's kind of gross, but I'm going to help you. Before you get intimate with that dude, take a shower and a bath together and get you some soap and some shower gel and some antibacterial soap and just mix it all together and just rub it all over him. <laughs> Make sure you clean it right. All right. Then have him soak in the bathtub, go swimming all in the same day. So go to the pool first so you can rinse him off. Let's go to the pool or the hot tub. Go, go rinse him off. And like, I got to get the chlorine off. Get in the, the shower or the bath. Clean them off. Then make sure you got every deodorant powder lotion that you can find antibacterial spray and, and and go at it okay throw all his dirty clothes in the laundry and or burn them i don't know sprinkle sprinkle don't look at his drawers you might not look at him ever the same again i don't even know why men allow women to wash their underwear because if you look at a man's underwear and wash them, you're not going to think too highly of him anymore. So men, wash your own drawers. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Take them to the beach if you ain't got no pool. Do something. You ain't got no pool, no neighborhood pool. Go to the beach. Go to the lake. Rinse them off. Okay. Y'all are silly. You said what about them crusty panties? You mean the ones people pay for? Sprinkle, sprinkle. Do y'all know there's weirdos that will pay for your dirty drawers as a, a woman's dirty drawers? Okay. I don't know. You know how to, yep. Or socks. They have some foot fetish weirdos too. No, ain't nobody paying for no man's dirty drawers. Though, I promise you. Okay. Ab abnormal. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Sorry for the weird question, but how to think about death in a better way? I'm having a problem with getting past it after losing a family member and a pet. Okay. Um, in my opinion, it's just another phase. And we all are born. 
We all live and we all go to the next level. It's just another level. And you won't find out what it's about until you get there unless you read and research about it and the many opinions that people have about what happens after death. All you can do is learn and not fear it because you already know it's a guarantee. Um, it just depends on your personal belief and what makes you feel good about dealing with it. So everybody's beliefs are different. You know, so find yours and what makes you feel okay. You said death is the ultimate level up. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. And also make sure you're living your life because it's a sign of, you know, mortality. Like, let me go and live the best life I could live so that when I go, I'm good. Okay. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Y'all are getting descriptive in the comments, I see. <laughs> All right. The frequency of being intimate in a relationship, the frequency of the direct deposits in the bank account, ma'am. Sprinkle, sprinkle. The frequency of gifts, the frequency of doing something you want. It's a tit for tat, ma'am. <laughs> so, and still you can say no because you're the woman. They got to make you want to do stuff. Like what turns you on? Money? Shopping, vacations, trips, all of, all of it. What puts you in the mood? Jewelry? Your favorite restaurant? I don't know. Like it, it, It's up to you as an individual. You said men are scary. No, they're not scary. <laughs> you said they're psycho. That's why you got to psychoanalyze them. You can ask for the world and you still have the right, the legal right to say no. Yes. Look, if you say, okay, I want this, 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 and that, and they give it to you, hoping, hoping, not no guarantee that you give it up, and you don't, because you have the legal right to still say no. They might get discouraged. They might say no in the future, but you still have a legal right to say no to intercourse as a woman, and so does a man. Okay. What do you do if his birthday is before mine? Get him a card. Go to the Dollar Tree or to the grocery store and get him a nice birthday card. Okay. That's what I would do because I'm not getting ready to buy no man a gift that I don't know who hasn't bought me anything. Okay. See, if you know your legal rights as a woman, if you use your words correctly, you can you can pretty much get what you want. Okay. That's literally it. You don't, you're they're hoping, it's called courting. They are courting you to get what they want. And it's still up to you as a woman to say yes or no. Tips to look young for a long time. Don't worry and get emotional and get lots of sleep. <laughs> yeah, don't care. The less you care, the less you worry, and the less you're stressed. Care about yourself. If you have kids, care about your kids, care about yourself. Everything else. Stop trying to people please and stop trying to do too much. And if you live with a grown man, you shouldn't have to pay for much. You shouldn't have to work. Okay. Don't be, don't be working, living in a house with a grown man. 
Unless all the money is yours to keep forever. Mm -hmm. and you don't have to contribute and you're doing it because you want to and not because he's making you or you have to to survive. Don't. Your boyfriend is trash. You already decided you're going to leave, but he wasted two years of your life. Oh, my gosh. How do you make sure you get your money's worth before you go? Oh, girl, fine. Just make him buy you something. Make him think that you're going to stay if he does A, B, C, and D. And then after he do it, go. Get your stuff. Whatever you want. Make him buy you some jewelry. Make him buy you whatever it is you want. Take you shopping. Give him one last chance. And then change your mind and say, you know what? I just can't do this no more. I got to go. And then take what you got that's worth whatever you, it is that you are looking for and go. <laughs> I don't know what you're looking for. But hopefully you can find it and get it out of them before you leave. Thank you. You like my, my room decor? I appreciate it. Okay. Hmm. I'm sorry that you wasted two years, but at least you won't do that again in the future now, will you? If y'all are looking for the makeup and skin part of the video, definitely at the beginning. And all the products that I mentioned in the video are linked throughout the comments in the description and at the top of the comments. I'm going to link it again. It's through Amazon. So whatever y'all are looking for. And also the other stuff that's not through Amazon is in the description bar. So wig details, level of cosmetics, um, other things that I probably mentioned in other videos and everything that I used for, you know, skincare, makeup, most of it's in the Amazon description. Uh, Amazon link in the description and what I just posted. Mm -hmm. Why do men just waste your time if they was talking to a woman? Why bother you? Because they feel like the more the merrier. That's why I said don't entertain men unless they can improve your life. Don't let them bother you unless they're coming with money. Or ways to take you to the next level and improve you. If they're wasting your time, they're they're not giving you no money. They're not there to improve you. That's how you know to bypass. Okay, that's how you don't waste time. You don't waste time if they're not there to improve you. Bypass. Because if they if they can deal with women, three and four women, because they don't have to benefit them in any way, they will. Men who have to benefit women, they deal with less women because they have to actually benefit you. Unless they just have it like that. They can deal with whoever they want. But men who are dealing with a lot of women that are not benefiting any of them, broke dusties. And then until they hit the age of 40, when they hit the wall, and their wallet hit the wall, and nobody wants to be with the 40-year-old dusty anymore, they move on to dating men with more money and a little bit older. So, you know, if they're not improving your life, don't deal with them. I would rather... Have you focusing on yourself than dealing with some man who's going to drag you down? Okay. If they're not there to give money or help you. They're not, they can't stay. They can't pay. They can't stay. All right. Don't let them in. If they're unable to benefit, you know. So think of yourself as okay. Think about a store. Think about uh, a store. They they're not gonna they're not trying to attract people that don't have money to spend, right? They don't want you window shopping. They don't want you coming in their store stealing or not buying anything, right? If y'all let guys in, if y'all deal with guys and they're not buying you anything, they're not taking you shopping. Why are they there? If they're not paying bills, what you doing with them? You know what I'm saying? If they're not benefiting you or leveling you up, 
are making your life better or easier, they're, why are they there? Don't entertain guys that cannot benefit you. There you go. Dusties, they already know they can't benefit you. And they will tell you straight up. And if you don't listen to them, it's y'all's fault. Oh, but I could change him. Girl, you can't change no Dusty. They have to change themselves. <laughs> okay. Male are protectors. You are not. What, what, what are weapons? What are tasers? What are knives? What's insurance? Can you protect me from these insurance bills? Can you can you protect me from these bills? Because I got weapons. <laughs> you need a male protector. You ain't gonna stand up for nothing. You gonna run. As soon as the police come, you out. Okay, protect me from bills. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> you need a male protector. Girl, they run in the opposite direction when stuff go down. Okay. I can't, I'm on probation. Oh, that's what they're going to tell you. I ain't finna get in trouble. I can't lose my job at the call center. Okay. <laughs> my my daughter. He said there is just yapping. Mm-hmm. Let me text her. Mm-hmm. Not the Dusty's running the other way. Yeah, so when guys talk about you need a man to protect you, don't believe them because you can only protect me from bills. And did. <laughs> sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. Sure, how and when should the SIGs be with older rich men? When you no longer need or want for anything and you choose to do it whenever you are ready. That's when. <laughs> when you say, okay, I got everything I need, everything I want, I ain't got to work no more. I got stacks in the bank, got my own business or the business can wait if you got some stacks to start it. I don't want for nothing. I got on that direct deposit. Okay, maybe he deserves some if I choose to. And it's only going to be for a couple of minutes anyway. He owes. Then on to the next. So it depends on you, ma'am. How are you where you need to be? <laughs> You said, does the first time hurt? Not as much as clocking in. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> All right. I could have most of y'all leftover women here. You could, Darius. You, you got that much money? Can you pay most of our bills? Because if, if you can't pay our bills, you can't have us. Okay. You can't you can't put the down payment on a luxury vehicle. I don't think you can have some of us. You might can have Picnisha now. But if you if you can't do if you can't do what it do at the bank, the ATM, the car dealership, you're gonna be looking like who did it and why sitting up there twiddling your thumbs talking about I thought I was the man. Pick me should tell me I'm the man every day. She called me a kank. How your credit? Can you co-sign on a luxury vehicle? Can you make them payments? Can you pay a credit card debt in full? Then you then I don't know what you're talking about. 
he must be used to pick me shit down. Just wanted to go to Applebee's or something. I don't know. Now it costs to be over here. Cost to be the boss. <laughs> hey, you ain't it. I can't. Why don't they go to Punk Misha? Because they don't want her. They already got her. That's why they think they can get us, because they already got Pick Misha. This grown man claims he got a Pick Misha at home, but still over here. So I'm telling y'all, they don't like Pick Mishas because they wouldn't be dis disrespecting her this way if they did. Mm hmm. Even when you go out with a male friend, he should pay. That's right. How many? Okay. What is the most pick me should job? What is the job that most Dusties are attracted to when they're looking for their perfect pick me should or Barbara the Builder? Y'all put it in the comments. Somebody said bank tellers. They don't even have those hardly anymore. Everything else is automatic. Oh, nurse, nurse, nurse. That's right. Nurses are dusty magnets. Nurses are dust magnets. If you are a nurse, ladies, don't ever tell a man what you do for him. Don't tell him because if he dusty, he's going to be like, you want to shack up and live together for 10 years with no rain? Okay. You said, why are nurses dust magnets? Ask a dusty. They'll tell you. <laughs> okay. Just ask, ask a dusty why they like nurses. They're going to tell you. Don't. I'm not going to tell you why. Let them tell you. Okay. Thank you. What? Because the nurse is never at home or working night shift. <laughs> Lady Marie. I think that's one of them. One of the reasons. So you can check that off the list. They always go. Okay. Let me tell you. When I was a teenager, maybe I shouldn't say, well, I think I was grown by this. I think I was legal age. When I was of legal age, yeah, I was probably 18 or 19. I, uh, this Dusty was literally cheating on all of his girlfriends. And one of them was, two of them were nurses. And he, then he was trying to holler at me. He would use the nurse's money to pay for my stuff. So I'm trying to tell you. Sprinkle, sprinkle. So nurses, stay away from the dust because that's what they're, they're going to use everything you got while you on your shift. To do what they got to do. Okay. All right. I'm going to ready to wrap it up. Because I'm going to go somewhere today early. <laughs> so I ask y'all questions. Y'all got about 10 more minutes. And then I'm going. Maybe five. I don't know. Depends on how I feel. Nurses. Let me tell y'all something, nurses. If you're a nurse, do not let a man live with you if he's not paying all the bills. Nurses, don't let a man live with you if he doesn't have a job that makes more than you. 
Y'all should be living in a place that y'all mutually pick out together that he can afford to pay for. You are a grown woman. He is a grown man. If you're sleeping with that man, he need to be paying all the bills in that house or apartment or whatever y'all live. If you are a nurse and you are a barber to builder, 50-50 chick, you're being played. Okay? While you out taking care of old sick people or just sick people, he's out doing what he need to do with other people. Okay? Stay away from Dusty's nurses. Stay away. N nurses are dust magnets. When you go out, don't tell nobody you no know nurse. Lie. <laughs> tell them you're a reception in a hospital. Just say something that's not nurse. Okay? Because as soon as you say the word nurse, a Dusty's ears will pop up like a satellite. And he'll be like, Doo -doo 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 and he will find you. So don't say it. Don't lead with your career. If you became a nurse to attract a Dusty, then do what you got to do, Pigmisha. Because some of these women become nurses so they can get them a good Dusty. <laughs> I'm going to go to school and get my nursing degree so I can find me a good old Dusty. So. If that's not why you went to nursing school, don't entertain dust. Okay? Because, like, you don't want you don't want that. Yes, try to attract the doctors. Okay? The surgeons, okay? The people that own the practice. Don't go out and sit at no bar with no mixed drink, with caterpillar eyelashes on after you get out your scrubs looking for dust. Don't do that. <laughs> Say you're a receptionist. That way they already know you ain't finna pay no bills. They not finna move in with you. <laughs> okay? You ain't the one to build with. They're not going to try to get you pregnant. So for them good benefits, okay? they ain't going to do it. Okay. They're not going to try to fix you or heal you because something wrong with you because you can't earn money. They're not going to try to nurse you back to sanity or manhood. Okay, sprinkle, sprinkle. You said you 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 have an ER nurse with caterpillar eyelashes. You were scared when she gave me the injection, girl. Your boyfriend says you're catfishing by doing my makeup. Well, good. Catfish somebody that has more money than him. Okay. That's what it's for. <laughs> He's just mad because that's what you can you can do. You can go put on some makeup and go get a better one. Okay. You said you're a nurse and all your co-workers are married to Dusty's. Mm-hmm. So stay away from stay away from the dust nurses. Y'all need to make a better reputation for yourselves, nurses. Because you know, y'all do a good job. Y'all are needed, but you don't want to have to like second guess telling people your career because y'all are notorious for dealing with dusties. Okay. So y'all can change that. Like in the future, when people think of nurses, they should think of, oh, she must be married to a doctor. Oh, she must be married to, you know, some executive. Do better. You know, stop dating down. Stop dating down. Nurses, stop dating down. Use that nurse money to look good, to get your looks together so you don't have to date dust. Okay, date the older doctors, date them doctors that got them nice cars, date them surgeons. Okay, because you know, 
you can't fix a dusty. All you can do is adopt one and help build him up for the next chick that fall for his okie doke. Don't entertain Dusty's nurses, please. Okay? If you are on a dating website, do not put that you're a nurse. Lie. Don't put post no pictures of you in no scrubs or at work. Get that all off your social media. Because I told you, Dusty's will find you. Okay? Y'all went to school, passed all the tests. I passed this test by not ended up with a Dusty. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Okay. See if you can pass the life, the, the test of life, and not end up with no Dusty with a nursing degree. Darius is your woman a nurse? I bet Darius's woman is a nurse. His long-term girlfriend. Uh oh, Shira, your second provider who wanted the BBL has looked what into the procedure. He wants Kim K. Bottom. You seriously suspect it's mentally ill now? Maybe, girl, is he trying to get? Is he trying to go? Is he trying to go viral on the internet? So maybe that's why he's trying to get it, man. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Ask him if he's trying to get on get on viral. You ask him if he got a TikTok. <laughs> That's why he doing it. <laughs> he trying to go viral on TikTok as a man with a BBL. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Your boyfriend loves you in natural looks. Does he love your natural bills? Because he couldn't tell me how to look or to wear or anything if he ain't paying no bills. He could love me. And, and when you're with him, look natural. When you're not with him, wear your makeup. Okay. That should solve the problem. Okay. When I'm with you, I'm going to be plain Jane, no makeup. When I go out, when you're not with me, I'm going to be made up, wigs, or whatever I want. Says. It doesn't bother you because you don't like it. You're not with me. It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> That's how you do that, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, God, it's why I said, wash that makeup. We'll replace him. Exactly. He's scared you're going to go find one with more money. All right, y'all, I'm getting ready to go. Thank y'all so much, everybody who donated. Thank y'all, everybody, for tuning in. Like I said, all the products that I use, or most of them, are going to be linked in this description. And also in this link right here. Other products mentioned are on levelupcosmetics.us, which is also linked in the description bar. The wig is also linked. So uh, y'all have fun shopping. Y'all are going to go shop. Or go to Sephora or whatever and get y'all's makeup skincare on have a good time and i'll see y'all on the next one bye